Snakes have a wonderful way of adapting to virtually any environment. The desert is no different. In fact, there are only a few places that snakes don't live. When it comes to survival in the desert, snakes are keen on four specifics. Adapting to temperature, adjusting to prey options, concealing themselves by means of camouflage and or burrowing, and making the most of desert humidity and the lack of rain. Let's explore each element in a bit more detail. We hope you enjoy this video. When most people think of the desert, the first thing that likely comes to mind is the unbearable heat. Snakes have to adapt and fast to the desert heat in order to survive. They also have to properly adjust to the cold temperatures at night. Snakes will change their behaviors and routines depending on weather conditions and seasons. Rattlesnakes serve as a wonderful example. During the scorching summer months, rattlesnakes are far more active at night and tend to lay low, no pun intended, during the day. Because they're unable to properly regulate their body temperature, the summer heat in the desert can pose a threat to life. During the spring and fall months when temperatures are a bit cooler, rattlesnakes will become a bit more active during the day and sleep more at night. Once the winter months roll around, rattlesnakes will brumate. They'll take advantage of naturally occurring holes in the ground surface or various gaps in stones and establish a den. Depending on the size of the den, it's possible to have several rattlesnakes sharing the same space. Desert life is quite different when it comes to food availability. It's limited to say the very least. Snakes that reside in the desert must have a varied diet in order to survive as there's not enough of quote unquote one thing to survive. Mojave rattlesnakes, for example, will consume a diet of lizards and rodents. Both are actually a bit common in the desert. Mojaves will also dine on kangaroo rats, birds, snake eggs, and even other snakes. They will also consume the flesh of dead animals. The flesh eating behavior is a byproduct of desert conditions and the ability to adapt to the desert environment. In order to escape predators in the desert, snakes need to hide. While it's possible to seek refuge in a ready-made burrow or escape to a den, for the most part, snakes are on their own, on the desert floor and exposed. It's for this reason that the ability to blend in with their environment is so critical. Take the western diamondback rattlesnake. Dusty gray and brown in color with white, black, and brown spots, this particular snake can be hard to spot along the desert floor. This is an especially good defensive tactic against birds of prey. On the flip side, rattlesnakes are ambush hunters. Hiding in this way is also good for being on the offensive. Prey will stumble upon the scene of an unsuspecting rattlesnake, and then the snake will strike at the perfect time. Another camoed snake that roams the desert is the sidewinder rattlesnake. Once again, dusty gray and cream in color, this snake can blend right in against the desert floor. Sidewinders even have the ability to burrow under sand while hiding from predators and waiting for prey such as unsuspecting lizards. The gopher snake and the glossy snake also have mastered the art of camo in the desert. You can read more about their hiding tactics, courtesy of our article on the subject at snakesforpets.com. If you're viewing this video off-site, you can link to that in-depth material by exploring the description box below that is available to you. The final section that we'll discuss deals with a snake's adaptation to humidity levels in the desert, more specifically the lack of rain. Snakes can survive in dry conditions because they need very little water. They know how to conserve what they have. Snakes don't release urine in the same way people do, for example. When a snake eliminates, only a small trace is released each time. This also allows them to conserve fluids and use them only when needed. Snakes rarely drink. However, they will consume a respectable amount of water prior to a meal. This suggests that fluids are likely lost during and or after the consumption of prey. So, the million dollar question remains, this water, where does it come from? Well, it does rain in the desert. It's not dry all the time. Snakes take advantage of raindrops that collect. They won't drink water that puddles. They prefer droplets as the water is more fresh and clean. Desert snakes will even consume morning dew if it is available. Although that will conclude things for the video portion of this material, as noted earlier in this presentation, you can hit us up at snakesforpets.com. 
There you will find an in-depth article dedicated to this specific subject. If you're watching us off-site, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. Said link will take you to the goods. Please give us a read and drop us a line. We value your time and your input. And until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. All the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.